Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on um, how VLOOKUPs work. Um, and if we're talking real world, um, many times you've got several systems um, or many different reports that you're referring to, and you want to consolidate all that information into a single report. Um, that's when, um, in, in some cases, you're going to use a VLOOKUP. Um, and then there's times when you've got, like I've got here, four or five products, you've got a cost list, you need to pull in the cost for certain product numbers um, and you need to do it quickly and just using control F to find each one individually is not efficient enough so you use a VLOOKUP. So we'll start here um, and note that I'm looking up the product ID which is in this column right so this is what I'm gonna be looking up and this is the cost in column G that I'm looking up trying to find okay and obviously this is um, I know the cost list is right here. I just did it for sake of illustration. It's simpler this way. Um, but sometimes you'll have it, for example, in a different um, tab. So um, it's not as simple and straightforward as I'm making it here just for sake of um, training. So we we'll go here. Um, you, whenever you start a formula, you start with equals, obviously. Do VLOOKUP. And you're going to start up parentheses. And um, you're going to start with the lookup value. What is that? That's what you're actually trying to look up. That's um, the product or the or the ID or the whatever it is that you're looking up. You're trying to find some information about this product here. So we'll start with selecting this product, comma, and then you want to put in the table array. The table array is the set of columns or the set of rows or the set of whatever columns really um, that you're trying to get the information from. Okay, so you could either select like this or you could drag and select the whole column. I'm going to select the whole column because I don't have any information below it, so nothing will mess it up. Um, but if you, for example, had a different data set here, you, um, you know, with the same product IDs or something, you probably want to just select an area. In this case, again, I'm going to select the whole column. Okay, column again, I mean comma again. Now you're going to select the column index number. Okay, and what is the column index number? Um, let me drag this up here. So the column index number, which is what it it's requesting here, is the number of columns um, away from the item that you're looking up that you want to return the value for. So say, for example, I've got column D, E, F, and G selected, um, and I want to look up this product, but I want this information. So that's one column, two, three, four columns. So I need to go here, find this information, go four columns down, and remember you include the column of the uh, with the ID or with the description that you're looking up, and then you go four over. Okay, so one, two, three, four, you include column D. Okay, so I'm gonna put in four because I want the cost to be returned. And then it's going to ask you, do you want an approximate match or do you want an exact match, right? So do you want um, to return a product that's similar to this product description or do you want exactly this? And in this case, we want exactly. We don't want the cost of something that's typed very close to what this is. No, we want exactly this. So we're going to put false. We're going to close the statement with the closing parentheses. We hit enter. So it's returned 73 bucks. Now we know that this is the first one, and again, like, yes, you could have just looked that up, but um, in real world cases, you've got thousands of lines, and that 73 may have been in line 7,000. You don't know. Um, so, in order to drag that down for all the rest of these, you select this one, go down, just hit Control D, it'll drag the formula down, and you've got the information that you need. Um, so, to look at a more complex um, or another another uh, time that you might need this. Um, if you go over to usage data, let's say that the data that you've pulled, you've got the product ID, you've got the description, you've got the quantity that were used maybe on a repair, um, and the total cost being just a um, uh, formula, so the quantity times the unit cost, the engineer that worked on it, the date, right? You need the unit cost. If you need the unit cost, you're going to want um, to VLOOK this up, right? You don't want to, you know, go through and for each one of these individually look up the information 
uh, over here and then you know paste it, you're gonna make mistakes. So what you do is V lookup. Cool. V lookup. And again, you select the product that you're looking for, the table that you need it from, and this time it's gonna be on a different tab. We're gonna go to this tab. Um, we're gonna select these two, four columns, column A, B, C, D. And we need it from column four again, right? A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna return the fourth value, put another comma, and we want it again to be exactly that product. We don't want to look up products um, with similar descriptions. So we're gonna put false. We're gonna close that statement, and it pulls in the information. Again, if you were to select this whole thing from this point on, press control D, it'll drag the formula all the way down, and you'll see that it's pulled in all this information, right? Now what happens if there's something in here that is not in the cost list or not in the file that you're looking up? So if we just brought this down and I made this this product number and I were to bring this formula down here, it would just return an NA and you know that the information wouldn't be there. And there are other formulas like if, um, I mean, uh, if error, and we'll get into those later where you can uh, prevent that from happening. but. Um, for the sake of this training, that's how you use a VLOOKUP. Thanks again for watching, and um, if you have any questions, leave them below, or um, uh, need any additional explanation or anything, just leave the comments below, and I'll be sure to check on those. Thanks, guys.